In this video, we're going to review the parts of the brain. So we're going to start with the larger structures, the lobes, and then work our way down to the smaller structures. First of all, you're looking at a brain, okay? This area here is the cerebellum. This whole structure, circled by B, is the cerebrum. And the cerebrum is broken down into lobes. Now these should sound pretty familiar since you had the same parts when you looked at the skull. So these should be pretty easy. So you got the frontal lobe, the temporal lobe, the parietal lobe, and the occipital lobe. So again, the cerebellum. The whole structure here is the cerebrum, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, occipital lobe. Now we're going to look at a cross-section of the brain. We'll start back here. This is, again, the cerebellum. A is the corpus callosum. B is the lateral ventricle. This is the thalamus. Below it is the hypothalamus. Behind the thalamus, we have the pineal gland. Down here you can see the pituitary gland. What attaches there is the infundibulum, which I'll show you on the next slide. Down in the brain stem we have the pons, and below that we have the medulla oblongata. Cerebellum, corpus callosum, lateral ventricle, thalamus, hypothalamus, pineal gland, pituitary gland, pons, medulla oblongata. Now looking even closer up so you can see more detail on this cross section, here is again the cerebellum, the arboviti, which is this tree-shaped pattern that you see in the cerebellum. We have the corpus callosum, lateral ventricle, the fornix, thalamus, hypothalamus, pineal gland, mammillary body, the pituitary gland, and here you see the infundibulum marked. This is the pons. Now structures back here, we had the lateral ventricle here, Right here, this green line is the cerebral aqueduct. Then you have the fourth ventricle. Let's go through them all again. Cerebellum. Patum is the arboviti. Corpus callosum. Lateral ventricle. Fornix. Thalamus. Hypothalamus. Mammillary body infundibulum, pituitary gland, the pons, the corpora quadrigemina, cerebral aqueduct, and the fourth ventricle. One more time, cerebellum, arboviti, corpus callosum, lateral ventricle, fornix, thalamus, hypothalamus, mammillary body, infundibulum, pituitary gland, the pons, pineal gland, corpora quadrigemina, cerebral aqueduct, fourth ventricle. Now we're going to look at the significant sulci and fissures of the brain. Here, the one that goes between the two hemispheres is the longitudinal fissure. This is the central sulcus, the lateral cerebral sulcus, and the transverse fissure. Again, the longitudinal fissure goes between the hemispheres of the cerebrum, the central sulcus, the lateral cerebral sulcus, and the transverse fissure. Oops, and the transverse fissure. 
longitudinal fissure, central sulcus, lateral cerebral sulcus, and transverse fissure. Now we're looking at an inferior view of the brain. Here you have the olfactory nerve. That front part is called the olfactory bulb. This is the olfactory tract. Here you see a part of the optic nerve. And again, here you see a little part of the other optic nerve. They come together. They cross over the optic chiasm, which is directly under the pituitary gland that you see here. And then you also see the mammillary bodies. Again, the olfactory nerve is the whole structure. You have the olfactory bulb on top, olfactory tract here. You see the optic nerve, the pituitary gland. The optic chiasm is below that pituitary gland and the mammillary bodies. This is a model of the ventricle system of the brain. So if you took an injected gray clay into the openings within the brain, it would look like this. I always call this the scary bug model. Here you have the lateral ventricle, which are the horns of the scary bug. Here, what I consider the face of the scary bug is the third ventricle, which you can't really point to on the brain models. Then you have the cerebral aqueduct that comes down through here. Part of it is blocked by this, but you see the cerebral aqueduct. And this is the fourth ventricle. This is what the scary bug hops around on. So again, you have the lateral ventricle, the third ventricle, the cerebral aqueduct, and the fourth ventricle. Make sure you go back and review that several times. Take the practice test. You can also work, also should work through the worksheets to make sure you can identify those parts without your notes in front of you.